I interview Marcelo Rosigliano, co-founder here at 4Geeks Academy. Our conversation knew no bounds. We discussed the career support measures we offer here at 4Geeks Academy upon graduation. And we discussed the possible implications of AI, not only on software engineers, but on the economy as a whole. Tune in and enjoy. All right, everybody, welcome to this interview. Who do we have here today? Marcelo Ricciano, co-founder of 4Geeks Academy. Wow, that was fast, man. Yeah. <laughs> Did he practice that in the mirror? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's been morning. saying it his whole life. His yeah. name has not changed. Yeah. The reason I brought you here today, and I thought this would be a good thing to do, is last week I spoke with Alejandro, yeah. speaking about the coding side of the business, what the academy is like, what is the learning experience for a student. Yeah. Now, what is the business case? What is it like? When you're searching for a job, how does 4Geeks help support the student? Um, the support comes from the people that are taking the program, actually. That's the main component. Like, um, if, if someone asks the question about, do I get a job afterwards? It mm -hmm. really, it's really attached to how willing or how much can you put into the program mm -hmm. in terms of how much can you take out of us? Right, like a lot of people think about it like a service, like, oh, they should do this and that for yeah. me. But without the student's participation, there is no way to get the outcome that they It's seek. impossible. So yeah. let, let, me, let, me, let me rewind and go back to what we offer. So we offer you two boot camps within one. So the first portion of the, of the school, of the program, is to give you the skills to become a developer. So... Mm. Uh, there's a whole mentorship support methodology uh, kind of approach built upon the experience that we have collected, the syllabus that we know, the technology that we have built, um, the exercises, the projects, the mentorships, the instructions, the classes, and everything surrounding you to give you or to put you in a place where you learn to code, where, mm -hmm. where you become a software developer. Building the foundation. Capable of building software, of uh, building software applications that can then take you to a job. Mm -hmm. Getting a job is the second portion of a bootcamp or the second bootcamp. Like mm -hmm. getting a job is a full-time job. And even more so if you are coming with no experience from before. Mm -hmm. So if you have a background non-related to coding or not, not even a background in, in professionally speaking, uh, getting a job might sound harder or might look complicated at the beginning but if you really follow the process like uh there is a there is a there's a, a person that i follow that, that he normally says that it, there is zero unemployment in software development if you're really committed if you have the skills there's an opportunity in the market right because they need engineers there's no end for the need for engineers correct so you you, you never hear like um yeah, let's not hire software developers yeah, anymore. Yeah. You know, like yeah, that yeah. conversation is not happening. And it will never happen in, in, in the way that I see it. Uh, it. It can be the case that you don't really like it and you're not mm -hmm. really good at it and you don't, you don't want to get a job on this. That's right. totally fine. Okay. So I can already hear the audience's rebuttal here. They're yeah. going to say, but what about these big tech companies that are firing employees? Yeah. And the first thing that occurs to me is yeah. what you're describing is a market dynamic. You're saying, sure, this company here might be getting rid of some of its employees, yeah. but another company somewhere else is hiring. How many how many job openings can you find in a simple search? Thousands. Thousands for software developers. <laughs> right. so, so what you normally hear in the news is the big news, like Amazon, Facebook, or Google. I don't I don't I don't even know if they're actually laying off people anymore. Uh, we I have, think they're they're frozen now. We we have heard that it happened before. Mm -hmm. How many new jobs are they opening? How many new opportunities are in the market? How many new technology opportunities are in the market? Becoming a software developer is not only, the, the only outcome is not only getting a software development job. You can be a front end, a QA, uh, an architect. You can be uh, in the documentation section. You can be a product developer. You can be a, product, a program developer. You can be building automations. Uh, you can be a part of a, of a, of a technical kind of a job within, mm -hmm. a, within an industry. And every single industry in the world is, is technology-driven. Right. So you can build a website. You can, build you can have a, a bakery. <laughs> you yeah. got a bakery. You got to have a website. You know? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I know a couple of people that own different shops and, and 
they rely on technology the entire business and the business is not related to tech exactly but it is tech driven so right. and they need a software developer someone to keep up with the mm-hmm. process and everything so getting a job is actually how much are you able to put in uh in terms of commitment time projects uh dedication being extremely perseverant and and and, and committed to the to the final goal to, to look at the, at the whole picture um However, in the bootcamp industry, you're normally targeting grown-ups, so not not kids mm-hmm. like within a household already, right. but but people doing something that they don't like or something that they want to change, or doing something because they didn't get an education or because the education that they got they didn't like it. So you're normally targeting someone within their twenties, thirties that is already paying the bills, that is already having something else to take care of, family, Mm -hmm. whatever they're dealing with. So you have to accommodate the education, the new education, the new skills into their schedule. Right. And then make it work for the time being where they get the skills and then they start applying for jobs because it might take Mm -hmm. less than a year, but it's still a year. Yeah, it's a process. That you need to still... Pay the bills. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Like, right, you can't just be like, "All right, no more work." Correct. We don't have to worry about the the mortgage. We don't have to worry about right. this rent. So payment. you have to combine the whole. The the, the it's like a puzzle. Mm-hmm. You have to combine everything and see the and see the picture and start and start putting the pieces all together. Make it possible for a student to seamlessly shift. Yeah. From this old way they were living to this yeah. new way. For example, I think about the job guarantee feature that we have. We have been offering the job guarantee recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's like a bond. It's not like a bond. Yeah, it's like a bond. You can you can get it or not, mm-hmm. the job guarantee. Uh, out of the people going through the job guarantee, and, and the job guarantee means that if you don't get a job within the six months after graduation, your money you get yeah. the, you get the money back. Um, nobody has claimed the money back, but not because they are afraid of claiming. Mm-hmm. Everyone is getting a job, right. and the main difference between adding the job guarantee or not is a commitment that you put in mm-hmm. because it's a little bit more expensive it's a little more of uh, it's more time that you have to put on uh-huh. the conditions are strict like right. you, you have to be rigid on the process yeah. on the process so if you fulfill the whole thing you get a job mm-hmm. and that's and, and that's how you measure if it's perfectly aligned incentives i love the idea right. that the school you go to the academy you go to in this case for geeks academy yeah. has its incentives aligned with your own they yeah. want you to succeed the yeah. same way you want to succeed because there's a financial incentive for all involved it's, yeah. the boot camp won't make money yeah. unless you succeed at the task you set out to achieve and to be honest i don't care if you actually learn to code let me put it this way if 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 you if you want to become if, if you want to enroll for gigs and you're not getting a job but you wanted to get a job we are failing there's mm-hmm. something missing here mm-hmm. so if you want to take the program just for the sake of it cool if mm-hmm. you want to get a job because you your current job needs you to have the skills cool but if you're enrolling the program you're putting the work you're committed to the program entirely, the skills and the and, and the job hunting phase. And you're not getting a job. We are failing. There's right. something missing there. So I want to prove us wrong. like I, Or I want the, the student to prove us wrong. Like, if you're in, we're in. Mm-hmm. So we're in. Are you? Right. It's it's kind of that conversation, the, the one that we want to have. Mm-hmm. And and then you can change. Of course you can change your mind in the middle. Like, I, I, man, I, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. like it. You I know? tap out. You, I tap out. You don't have to like it. Right. Uh, or you don't have to pursue a career out of it. Uh, but, if, but if you do want to do it, we are here all in with you. So as far as performance outcomes for 4 yeah. Geeks Academy students, yeah. what can they expect in the job market when they graduate? So if you are job guaranteed, it's 100%. Yeah. <laughs> already. Uh, right. All of them are getting a job. Um, okay. If you are not in the job guarantee, 82% of the people are getting a job afterwards out of those fulfilling the, 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 the process. Mm-hmm. Um, we, have re- we have been uh, opening new locations in the U.S., and that's also making it making the operations a little bit broader and 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 better and complex of course the, right. the, the more offices or the more locations that you that you get of course you have to manage multiple things but that is also opening the the doors of adding new and pot- potential employers mm-hmm. and and increasing your network right. and also consolidating in terms of 
the, the outreach and the impact and the network that you have in a few places. So we have been increasing our presence in Miami, in Orlando. Well, in Florida, as a state in general, 4Geeks has been trying to, to build a network of partnerships and, and the structure to, for you to get a job right. in, in the state. Because um, anybody can learn to code at home if they're really diligent, if they're really focused. Yeah. A lot of it, a, a lot of the reason you go to a boot camp is one, obviously for the structure, learning the material, yeah. but also that follow up assistance when looking for a job. Absolutely. And you just you just alluded to it Absolutely. just a second ago, where we have this like larger and larger network of yeah. companies looking to hire, and will specifically hire four geeks graduates because they know the quality of student. And because they know academy. that you are committed mm -hmm. and, 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 and you can see also the people that have graduated and getting a job afterwards. So, right. so they're succeeding in, in the professional way. Um, and that gives you the opportunity to open, for example, we're open in Texas. And, and so the main reason is, or, or the main question is, why Texas? Well, if you wonder what's, what are those locations in the U.S. that are growing in, in, te in, in, in technology or, or um, the investment that companies are putting in some places, so Austin, mm -hmm. yeah. Houston, Miami, of course, but we already are in Miami, mm -hmm. um, out of New York, San Francisco area, right? Like right. Already consolidated places. Mm -hmm. um, you should bet on those places because people will apply to jobs over there. So mm -hmm. you want to you wanna try to help the people over there to achieve, to, to get... To, to consolidate a, a, a volume of students that, that can actually become a developer and have a job in those and places. And consider, consider the perspective of somebody who is new, right? right? It's all growth oriented, it's all future oriented. Yeah. So if you're in a place like New York, if you're in a place like San Francisco, yeah. of course they're growing, you know, marginally, but they're they're mostly static. Like, I mean, it's extremely expensive. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's like have you ever? I was I was uh, looking at apartments in San Francisco. I just I don't know why I decided I should do that, but yeah. one day I did, and yeah. I was looking at a studio for like thirty five hundred, and it was nasty. Yeah, like it was it was bad. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah I don't it's ridiculous. get it. Yeah, I don't get it. Maybe if you're single and, and you're all in with your life and your professional life maybe being in San Francisco may, makes sense. Maybe. But only for professional advancement. There's right. like almost no other reason. Right. But I, but I do want to insist on the, on, on, on the reason in why you want to become a developer. Maybe because you want to get a new job. Maybe because you want to do something that it's, I don't know, more appealing to you. Mm -hmm. That you want to build stuff and belong to the industry. Your, your salary will, will increase. Um, the potential growth of your career will also be accelerated because software developers make more money faster mm -hmm. than any other industry in general terms. And also because un unemployment is pretty much zero. Um, and, and then you have to, to measure which places uh, are, are, are you considering to um, where, where the operations of the company you want to establish. So you, you look at Texas, you look at Canada, you look at Mexico, overseas, of course, uh, there is people. And also the way that the world changed after COVID, the, the, the fact that you can get a job remote or mm -hmm. in person or hybrid, like it makes it flexible and 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 and, and easier somehow because mm -hmm. you have more openings right now, um, and that's cool, man. I, I I do believe that, and and I also believe that you have to keep up the education. Like you have to keep up getting the skills and and getting right. and getting new stuff. Like people are getting afraid of like is AI gonna replace my career or software develop software developers will. This like no longer exist because of that, and I always uh, I come from a lawyer background. I, I graduated mm. as a lawyer. If someone is in trouble, man, are lawyers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you can consult everything to mm -hmm. to any uh, AI uh, platform that you can find, right. and you get pretty cool advice. And you can you can check me here, but my understanding of law is a lot of it is just like seeing if there's a precedent or if it's right. instantiated in law. It's so that's data. just reading. Yeah, it's just it's data. It's, yeah. it's, it's, in, it, it's yeah. multiple inputs of data given out to you in seconds. So right. that's something that it's right. Yeah, that's hard to like, In fact, in fact, and this is my rebuttal whenever anybody talks about anything relating to AI, it's like yeah. what we're creating is vast intelligences, like more right. intelligence. That affects everybody yeah at least software engineers are building the intelligence correct and, they, or if you and, play a and, part and, in it. and and if if you want to stop in the conversation of ai let's get back to 20 30 years ago and let's yeah. rebuild like yeah, no, it's already right. happening right. so so mm -hmm. what are you doing with it right like um if again if you are skillful committed serious 
and and like and committed to your career in technology, you are gonna have a place in the conversation. Right. There, there's no certainly. There, yeah, it, th that's gonna happen for sure. Right. If you're like, let let me put it this way: if you're graduating as a as a as a lawyer, as a engineer, even from college. Mm -hmm. Whatever amount of money you're wasting on wasting <laughs> well, investing no, in no, college, no, you might be right, man. Yeah, you might be for five years. Not yeah. only the tuition, but the cost of living. Right. Or compared to going after or going through a boot camp, mm -hmm. six months, one year, and you're learning the specific skills required. Right. You're, Which is so funny is I, I speak to graduates like CS graduates yeah, often, yeah. and they'll come out like not knowing how to code really weird they'll learn a lot of theoretical information yeah but like they're not great at building anything yeah and that's what's so brilliant about a boot camp is we kind of reverse engineer it yeah. so at a boot camp we're like okay so these theoretical things that you need to know learn them you know learn them at a pace maybe yeah. learn them later though yeah really what we want you to be able to do is be job ready in yeah. six months and we'll get you there yeah it's not about knowledge it's about skills right. so the knowledge comes after right in college, it's the other way around. Yeah, that, that's yeah. why we call it a flipped classroom because you have to know the thing before you actually start to implement it, and that right. doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. When I, I remember when I graduated as a lawyer, I was like, "Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm not ready for this." Yeah, yeah, like, like I know I can tell you what article and the, the maybe, section. <laughs> so, and even for that, AI is way better than me, <laughs> yeah. so it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Uh, so pretty much, my invitation is for you to, uh, or for anyone uh, that is willing or giving it a thought, do it. Because it pays off, mm -hmm. because it will make your career and your life better, because you're going to belong, because you're going to be get ready for the next, whatever next it is. We don't know what's coming next, so mm -hmm. to be honest, like nobody <laughs> knows. <laughs> There's right. a little bit of serendipity at the end. Mm -hmm. um, knowing how to code and, and, and getting ready for a potential new job, I think it's, a, it's the, the it's wiser an, decision that you can, that you can make. It right is now. the greatest lever I yeah. can think on life. Yeah. It's like being able to build software yeah. takes whatever idea you had and multiplies its yeah. effectiveness, its It's magnitude. like being a mechanic in the 50s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I don't know if cars are going anywhere. Yeah. I, I've seen a few, <laughs> you know, yeah. but I know how to fix them. Yeah. And I hear they're building this interstate, this big interstate. So right. Who knows what's going to happen? There. Yeah. So um, you're going to have a job. You're going to have, you're gonna have an income. You're going you're, you're gonna to have a, a really nice, decent life. So mm -hmm. why not? It, it, it's worth it. All right. Well, I think we covered a lot of bases and uh, it's, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, oh, man. absolutely, man. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. <laughs>